Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by Spirit of Me 1111. It is your girl Stardust 1111 here to do a how do they feel about you reading for the signs of Virgo, all right? Um, this reading is timeless. I won't put a timestamp on the reading, but for the purposes of my video extended readings and my analytics, I do have to timestamp my title with um, May for 2020. This reading could be good for May, but it's timeless, so it can be good for whenever you open up the video, come to the video and read the messages. I'm doing something a little different here today for you guys. I'm going to give a cosmic energy update read here about what energies and influences are around you and helping you out what areas of your life are coming up um, that you are working on and that need to be worked on. Messages start right from spirit here, okay, with some astrology reading cards. I will get a couple or a few of these for you guys. And then we will go into some Oracle and a little tarot for how do they feel about Virgo. Spirit messages from the, <laughs> I don't think those, so many flipped at once. Spirit, can I get some energy here from these astrology reading cards for the sign of Virgo for how do they feel about Virgo, what areas of Virgo's life needs to be worked on or what's coming up here spirit i don't know what cards i pull guys i just pull them taurus i just got this in a pre-pull it's crazy that same card in the same place um so with the taurus energy here it's ruled by venus right and your taurus here sits in the second house of the zodiac and that's about working with the um, energy around you it shows abundance of nature it's rich earthy and productive and relaxed yet slow energy right that's earth energy taurus is a Feminine quality energy doesn't mean it's, you know, masculine or feminine when it comes to the elements, doesn't matter. It's about the polarities here that balances out the universe and us as individuals as the sun is to the moon because, you know, you can't have um, night without day, you know. So that's where that comes into play at yeah, with the Taurus energy here. Some of you guys' finances are going to be improving with um, Taurus being ruled by Venus, you know beauty loving beautiful things nature life and i'm fertile here pregnant with ideas and abundant opportunities moving forward for you guys and you have libra that's crazy i just got both of these in the other shuffle i did it yeah these are your messages these are definitely your cards like i swear i just got these on a pre-shuffle sitting here talking to myself before i started the camera the same two cards in the same order definitely venus here taurus and libra are ruled by Venus, okay? And this sits in the second and the seventh house of the astrological um, chart. So with the Libra energy, its energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. Here, also ruled by Venus here. So, um, very, very abundant energy here with the same ruling planet, working on balancing your finances out, your love and your relationships at this point in your life right now, Virgo, is what is coming up here from spirit. So Venus really, really wants you to know that your love and your money are making improvements and you have the 10th house here. That's crazy. I cannot make this up. This is crazy. Then I got this on the pre-shuffle for you guys too. Crazy. These were your cards. Spirit is not playing. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, gave me the chills. Um, Your achievements and status in the outside world here is what the 10th house is about. It's um ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is like the taskmaster. Saturn is going to push you to um your limits here it is about the way people see you in the outside world all right the way you show up it's about hard work here the capricorn being the goat of the zodiac all right of overcoming insurmountable challenges in your life um showing up ready for hard work due diligence and um, ready to persevere for the next challenge that may come ahead of you here i'm um, fighting for your love, your connections, working hard to attain your financial security and balance so that you can become more in harmony with those things around you in life and attracting the beautifulness of nature and the world of what you like with that Venus here. Very strong energy. All right. Then we have the Romance Angels cards. Virgo. Have my rose quartz here. You know, you got some extra, extra love from that crystal. What messages do we have for Virgo from the Romance Oracle? And then I'll go into your how do they feel about you. Just think it's really important, guys, that um, we do some planet cards here and 
get you guys rolling with that. All right, so, jeez. Capricorn is Earth energy as well with the 10th house here. So Virgo, that is your elements showing up here. All right, how do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? This could be the one. Separation and flirt. All right, this could be the one here. It's telling me you're already met the romantic partner you seek. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Some of you guys are in separation from a love. That could be the one. And you have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. With Venus showing up here, I want one more card here, spirit from this romance. Oh, okay. <laughs> Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Some of you guys with that Venus energy here, that strong Empress energy here, and it is about a connection to a divine mother or a mother-like figure. Um, someone in your life that you just probably had struggles and challenges with. Um, the tenth house being here, this could be something or someone that you've had a very, very difficult family dynamic type of relationship with here um, that is coming up for work. You need to overcome that challenge in your life in order to step into your power and become that that you are becoming. Um, that you are destined to become. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna get a energy oracle card for Virgos. How do they feel about Virgo? Then there will be an extended, again, if I haven't said that, guys, the link will be down below in the description box for Vimeo. If you guys would like to go up there and join me, that would be awesome. Okay, so we have the temple path here and strategy here. Some of you guys are on a spiritual path here. The temple path is where you seek enlightenment and you are surrounded right now by the um, your angels and your guides and some of your ancestors are helping you along the way. Right now, this is about taking strategy, strategically planning your moves, moving forward in your life. It's time to line up the things that you want to go after in life set your sights higher and uh, begin to create the life that you want with Venus energy here. You are going to be abundantly blessed financially in your financial areas if you work hard like the goat, those insurmountable challenges and struggles and you overcome them and you work hard, you're going to be in peace and harmony, um, getting more peaceful, um, harmonized relationships, some of the relationships with the people that you have dealt with may be coming forward now and they might be getting better all right creating a balance with the Venus energy with the libra being the justice of the major arcana all right and then so with that 10th house energy is capricorn energy that's the devil of the major arcana you can be dealing with someone that's trying to overcome addiction issues it could be sexual drug addictions or alcohol you'll find out in your how do they feel about you tarot here so i'm saying that your person is probably being worked on with spirit is overcoming challenges here you or them you, um you can assign the roles here as you see fit for your situation Virgo. all right spirit can i get some tarot to go with the oracles death here <laughs> scorpio energy six of swords three of pentacles page of pentacles the moon and the hanged man and you have three of cups at the bottom of the deck i'm seeing death here scorpio energy all right that is plutonian energy here that's pluto right um so i'm looking at this as a situation that is definitely destined to fall apart at the seams. It has to because there's a paradigm shift taking place here with the Temple Path card and strategy. Someone thinking their best life, right? Um, manifesting that, wanting to manifest and moving forward. Already have your oracles ready to pull there with the Death card here. Transformation, rebirth, and transmutation. Uh, if you're working hard with the 10th house energy, your Capricorn energy, 
I just see that phase fading out of your life, things that don't serve you and people. Six of Swords, you're coming through it right now through a very challenging situation that you're walking out of, that you're coming through. Some of you could be traveling across water to meet a person, um, somebody that you want to work things out with, someone that you admire that you kind of put on a pedestal here or they put you on a pedestal. Um, could be traveling across water to see you or you to them. Page of Pentacles here, um, this person is younger than you or can be younger than you for some of you are dealing with that that is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn and with your swords here air energy gemini libra aquarius the moon is cancer energy or pisces some of you guys are just really in your phase of being kind of in a dreamlike state right now where things may be a little hazy and may not be making sense to you um but it's part of the process of what you're going through. So be paying attention to your dreams and possibly keep a dream journal by your bed. That could really help you out here moving forward. Hangman energy, stagnant, all right? But the hangman energy can be definitely dealing with the Pisces. Um, with the dreamy type of energy, with the moon being here, and then you go right to the hangman, which is the Piscean energy. And Pisces co-ruled by Neptune is the planet of illusions. And here, like I said, things could be kind of hazy right now when you have these two here. Um, the moon with the Neptunian energy of the Pisces, things not making sense to you or you not seeing a picture clearly and what's being painted out right before you. Um, you're just going through a really transformative phase right now. Hmm. I want to clarify some more. <laughs> Gift. <laughs> Spirit says you have gifts coming or you are being awakened to your gifts. Sure, so things may be a little hazy and crazy right now, but um, you're going to have time to be in this position to show some of your gifts off, you know, with these pentacles that you have. Someone wants what you have and um, wants to take really good care of it. You're like precious goods to somebody. Uh, what more messages do we have from the Kipper Oracle for the sign of Virgo? marriage <laughs> so yep with libra here in the seventh house of partnerships and marriage and love with venus showing up twice here to bless your love and your relationships you have a gift coming to you that is going to be in the form of a commitment made to you it could be marriage for some of you guys someone that sees you as the prize that admires you that puts you on a pedestal and that wants to come to you and secure you and hold you near and dear to them as their own. That page of pentacles. This is something new. It's in its very, very beginning phases and stages here with this person, your person. All right. And it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with here with that. Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Three of Cups energy. Reason to celebrate here. Like I said, you do have your Three of Cups here at the bottom. So that is definitely an engagement. That I'm saying for some of you guys here. Definitely. And then we'll go over to Vimeo. And clarify for you guys. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? And person wants to come in and give you an offer of love. Coming through a really, really hard time right now with this person. I see Three of Cups could also have been a one-night stand or something that came between you and your person. Don't go, card. Um, high honors. Yeah. You guys are going to have a reason to celebrate. This person puts you on a pedestal and has high honors of um, coming your way and bringing something very, very tangible to you with this page of pentacles. Okay, this person has picked you out of a pool of what would have been other potential lovers, right? With the three of cups, this is someone who was used to having their way with women of getting around and with the Capricorn energy here, with the 10th house, when you have your Capricorn energy, which is the devil, it's about obsessions, right? Um, it's about somebody that could have a sexual addiction here. I'll pick that up with that 10th house energy here, all right? With that 10th house devil energy, I'm definitely picking up some sexual addiction here that a person had in the past. And then your tower falls next. So <laughs> then your queen of wands. And I didn't plan this to go this way. And of course, you never do with tarot. But so it's telling me that this 
lifestyle for this person of partying of wanting to always be um you know mr player type of energy has come to an end they've had a paradigm shift and they're ready to change their ways all right always dying out new ways coming in what that looks like for you it means for you is that this person has had a wake-up call and an epiphany about you and the connection and sees you as the queen of wands someone very attractive that they want to be with someone very creative abundant beautiful i mean very alluring mesmerizing type of energy this person and definitely admires and adores you and wants to you know secure you as the one wants to come in and make that offer to you wants to offer you marriage what you know about that okay so and what was the next card here king of cups <laughs> i'm not pulling any more cards for nobody I got so many good ones here for you guys. It's crazy, though. And you got high honors. This person puts you on a pedestal. High honors. Oh, my goodness. Reasons to celebrate. You are leveling up. The level up is so real. You are going to be praised. This person is bringing you to the forefront. Like, if you have been in the background before, if you were someone that this person didn't appreciate, this person is stepping up right now and showing up. Like, here I am. It's giving you the gift that you deserve, that you desire. It's going to feel so rewarding to you. It's going to feel so amazing to you. This person has definitely had a wake-up call and is sitting back and looking at you as just being this beautiful, beautiful person that they want to secure and have in their life, you know? Tired of the running, tired of the playing, tired of being Mr. Player because your King of Cups is emotionally available and emotionally mature. And he has his eyes fixed on you, Virgo. And your fiery energy here is that Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you can be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign, or it just can be the energies that are here for you and for your reading. So this person is very smitten with you, very much wanting you, and is coming in to show you that, okay? So let's get over to Vimeo and extend this reading for you guys. I'm going to explore... Um, What's at hand for your person or your situation, the past influences, what to ponder on and what to do moving forward. And um, if this person is most likely to contact you, you know, to reach out to you anytime here in the near future. So the links will be down below. Thanks everyone for joining me over here at Spirit of Me 1111. Namaste.